Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to give him all the thanks right now, to give him all the praise right now, and to give him all the glory. Today is the day that the Lord has made. And every last one of us, I mean every last one of us, should always be glad and always rejoice in it. We serve an awesome God. We serve an amazing God. We serve a powerful God. We serve a God who is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. He will never turn his back on you. He will never flip the strip on you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He got your back all the way to the very end, even if you don't have nobody else, you will always, I say that you will always have Jesus. He got you, my sisters. He got you, my brothers. Even though it don't seem like it, he is there. That's why always talk to him about everything. Pour your heart out to him. He's always listening, even though he might not respond back. But he's always listening, and he operates on his time, not our time. I don't care what the enemy is whispering in your ear. You got to identify the difference between the Lord's voice and the enemy's voice. There's a difference between sugar and salt, even though they look the same. But there's a difference in it. Always identify the difference of the voice. God's voice is soft and smooth. The enemy's voice is beautiful. It's eloquent because he's the most beautiful angel in the world. So you got to identify the voice. And I don't care what it looks like right now today. If God didn't give you that go, don't go. I don't care what it looked like. I don't care how beautiful it may seem. If it didn't come from God, sit your tail down. Because our problem is, what we get caught up at, what we fall short at, is because we look at things right then and now. We end up making the wrong decisions. We end up making wrong moves. So then when the time do come, the first thing we say, why did we wait? We end up cussing ourselves out. We smack ourselves because you have to learn to identify the difference between God's voice and the enemy's voice. That's why it's so important to always spend time with Jesus. Always talk to him about every anything because he's expecting to hear from you. No matter where, always make a, a date with Jesus. Always make an appointment when you want to spend time with Jesus, when you want to talk to Jesus. But just don't do it because you want something. Just don't do it because you need of anything. But do it because he is your everything. Do it because he is your first love. Do it because you can't depend on nobody, count on nobody but Jesus. He's the only one that you need, my sisters. And he's the only one that you need, my brothers. That's why I'm always encouraging my brothers and sisters that praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing because the God we serve, hallelujah, the God we praise, he watches over every last one of us and he has in the palm of his hands and he is working everything out to his perfect will. And if you have not working the Lord into your home or to your life or even your prayer closet, room, I want to encourage you right now today, please do so. Please return back to your first love. His arms are open wide. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, our Father, we just come before you right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me our thanks today. Give me our praise today. Give me our glory. We just thank you, Heavenly Father God, for everything that you've done and everything that you're doing. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, how you're moving in our life. We thank you, Father God, how you order our steps. We thank you, Father God, for your guidance and your direction. We thank you, Father God, because it is you that is still in control. It is you, Father God, that is still in charge. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we're not moving, Father God, until you tell us to move. We're not making no decisions, Father God, until you speak, Father God. And, Father God, it doesn't matter how long we got to wait, Father God. If we got to wait here for a minute, if we got to wait here for a couple of minutes, if we got to wait here for a couple of hours, if we got to wait here for a couple of days, if we got to wait here for a couple of weeks, if we got to wait here for a couple of months, we are not making no move or no decision, Father God, until it comes from you, Father God. Because, God, you know exactly what you're doing, Father God. You do, we operate on your time, not our time, Father God. So, Heavenly Father God, you continue to have your way with me. Continue to have, with, continue to have your way with my sisters. Continue to have your way with my brothers. Because you run this whole show. You don't need nobody help, Father God. Glory be to God. So, Father God, we're going to continue to seek you, Father God. 
We're going to continue to praise you. We're going to continue to glorify you. We're going to continue to put our faith and our trust and our hope in you, Father God, because, God, that you will never lead us astray, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, Father God, for your love that you continue to give us, God. We thank you, Father God, for how patient you are with us, God. We thank you, Father God, because you are working things out right now. You are working behind the scenes right now that you're setting the stage up for us right now, that you're preparing the tables for us right now. We thank you, Father God, for the blessing that we're going to receive this season, the breakthrough that we're going to receive this season, the miracle that we're going to receive this season, the more than enough that we're going to receive in this season, how you open up doors for us in this season. We thank you, Father God, how you're going to send rain on our harvest in this season. We thank you, Father God, how you're setting it up right now. We thank you, Father God, that you're going to put us at the right place at the right time in this season. So, Father God, we give you the thanks for in advance, we give you the praise for in advance, and we give you the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, let your will be done today. Father God, let your words go out and should never turn back for today. Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, you are King of kings, you are Lord of lords, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, allow your love to move to this place. Allow your presence to move to this place. Allow your angels to join us in praise and worship, Father God, in this place right now. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this is your time, this is your moment that I know for a fact that you're about to show up, that I know for a fact that you're about to show out. I believe and I declare and decree right now today in the mighty name of Jesus that someone's going to be healed today, someone's going to be delivered today, Someone is ready to give their life over to you right now today, Jesus. And the angels are rejoicing in heaven right now. And you will and you should give all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father God, this is your house. The house that you built on solid ground. The house that you built on solid foundation. The house that cannot be moved, shaken, or bothered. Heavenly Father, Abba Father, you are welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord. Right here in your sanctuary. Right here on your YouTube channel. Right here on your platform. Right here in my brother's home, right here in my brother's life. Right here in my sister's home, right here in my sister's life. Heavenly Father God, I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to touch every last one of my brothers and sisters right now. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to heal them right now today. Soften their heart right now today, God. Move through them right now today, God. Lift their spirits up right now today, God. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, for you to do a new thing in my brother and sister's life right now today. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to move supernaturally in their finances right now, in their health right now, in their dreams right now, in their business right now, in their homes right now, in their relationships right now now, in their marriages right now, in their neighborhoods right now, at their job place right now. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to send them a word right now today, Father God. Send them a message right now today, God. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to send them an angel right now today, God. Send them a sign right now today, Father God. This whisper in their ear right now today, Father God, that they can rest in your words, that they can rest in your promises, Father God, that they ain't got to worry no more, they ain't got to stress, out no, stress about it no more, because it's already done. Glory be to God. Glory, glory be to God. And we give you all the thanks, we give you all the praise, and we give you all the glory for it. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, you are welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord. Right here in your sanctuary, right here on your YouTube channel, right here on your platform. Right here in my sister's home, right here in my sister's life. Right here in my brother's home, right here in my brother's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to intercede and intervene right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to comfort us right now today because you are comfortable. I'm asking you right now today to control our thoughts, control our mind, so we hear your soft, still voice. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move to this place like you never moved before, so we catch the Holy Ghost fire. Holy Spirit, please forgive us for grieving you today. As we repent of our sins today, Father God, please forgive us for our sins today. Known and unknown right now. Wash us through your blood right now. Clean us as white as snow. Heavenly Father God, I want to say thank you right now today for forgiving us for our sins. Thank you, Father God, for never remember our sins anymore. Thank you, Father God, for the clean slate. Thank you, Father God, for the opportunity. Words cannot explain how thankful, how grateful, how honored, how blessed I am. To always pray, praise, and have fellowship with all my brothers, all my sisters, and one body in Christ. Heavenly Father God, I'm here today to let you know that I'm available for service. I'm available for the kingdom. But most of all, Jesus, that I'm available for you. Heavenly Father God, before I get started, there's something that's always in my mind about you. There's something that stays in my spirit about you. There's something that stays on the fruit of my tongue and fruit of my lips about you. And I just got to tell you how I really feel about you, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I put my heart out to you every day. 
today, G, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I trust you the way I do, G, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I want more, I want more, I want more of you, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm in love with you the way I am, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you're ready for God's word, let the church say amen. Glory be to God. Today's word is, Jesus is going to send the right people to you, my sisters. Jesus is going to send the right people to you, my brothers. And it's okay, my brothers and sisters. It's okay to be alone. It's okay. It's okay to rock by yourself. But please don't get mad at God. Please do not curse God when he removes certain people out of your life because certain people, they're going to either remove themselves or God is going to remove them out of your life. It doesn't matter if it's your mother that he removed out. It doesn't matter if it's your father that he moved out. Your son or your daughter, your homeboys or your homegirls, your husband, your wife, or your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your fiance. It does not matter who God removed out of your life. It's okay because God is a jealous God. But some of y'all right now today, you're upset because God had removed some people out of your life. Some of y'all right now today, you're in your feelings because certain people have removed themselves out of your life. And God says, it's okay. You're not alone. He said, pray about it. Don't be anxious about anything. But you ain't got to pray. You ain't got to be crying about why God removed people out of your life. You ain't got to be upset when they remove themselves out of their life because God seen things, God heard things that you can't even imagine, my brothers and sisters. So right now, I don't know who I'm talking to right now today. You need to get out of your feelings right now. It was a reason why God removed that person out of your life. It was a reason why they removed themselves out of your life. So God, I mean, for this thing, Jesus, so God can put the right people in your life. Some of you right now today, you're upset, you're bitter right now. Because you say, but God, that's my mom. God, that's my dad. God, that's my brother, my sister. God, that's my husband, that's my wife. That's my boyfriend, that's my girlfriend, that's my son and my daughter. God said, I'm the only God. No one and nobody, hallelujah, come before me. If they're turning you away from God, it's time for me to get them out of your life. And it's the reason why, my brother and sister, that we go through what we go through. And we all have been there. You know, we only human. We're human, so yes, we're going to have, we're going to have feelings. But God don't want you to cry about it no more. He said, why are you still crying about it? I removed that person out of your life for a reason. He said, why are you crying about it? They removed themselves out of your love for a reason. I know he said, and some of y'all saying, but God, I was in love with him. I was in love with her. And God said, what about me? I'm your only love. I will never remove myself from you. I will never broke up with you. I will never did the things to you what they did to you. He said, you still crying about that? You still upset about that? He said, for what? If you only know what I know, if you only know what I can do and bring to your life, he said, you'll stop that crying. You'll stop that texting back and forth. You'll stop talking about him, stop talking about her all day long. God said, you got other things that you can talk about. You got other things that you can cry about. But God said, you ain't got to cry about the ones. That I removed out of your life. You ain't got to cry about the ones that removed their stuff out of their life because God said they had no intention of being there in the first place. They were part of your story, but they ain't part of the destiny. They not part of what God's going to use you for. They not a part of what God's about to take you to. It's okay to be alone in this season. I know some of y'all don't like to be alone because you're so used to being around people all your life, but it come a time, it come a point in your life and your season that you gotta rock by yourself. The sun rock by itself all day long. Doesn't matter. The sun's still gonna shine. It's still gonna sh shine bright. It doesn't matter what city, what state you're in, the sun is still gonna shine somewhere. And God is still saying that you're still gonna shine, my daughter. Hallelujah. He said, my son, you still going to shine no matter what it look like. He said that you still going to shine. And it's okay to rock by yourself. 
It's okay to be by yourself because at the end of the day, you are not going to hurt yourself. You are not going to disappoint yourself. It's okay. Man will fail you. Man will disappoint you. But God said, I will never fail you. And I will never disappoint you. I got you all the way to the very end. And God said, it's okay. You can let it go right now. You might be going through it right now. You might be hurting right now. But God said, the joy comes in the morning. But you got to allow the joy to enter to your heart. You got to allow the joy to enter to your spirit right now today, my brothers and sisters. I know you probably say, but LT, it's probably easy for you to say, no, it's not. I don't been there before. I had to rock alone. And I'm still rocking alone. As long as I know I got, this, I got God with me, I got everything I need and want. And it's okay. I got who I need and I got who I want. His name is Jesus Christ. And as long as I have him, I got everything. So yes, my brothers, yes, my sisters, it's okay. It's okay. Talk to Jesus about everything. He's always listening and he's always available. It doesn't matter what it is, even though he might not respond, but he's still listening. But he works and he operates on his time. Not our time, my sisters. Not our time, my brothers. And please do not make a wrong move, a wrong decision because something looked good. Wait till Jesus give you the green light. Wait till Jesus give you the business. Say, okay, now that you can go. But don't you dare make a move. Don't you dare make a step until the Lord step in and do what he needs to do. Our problem is we always don't, we want to operate on our time, and that's what we fall short at. And guess what ends up happening is we go back to mourning again. We go back to crying again because we didn't wait. We were too anxious to be in a relationship. We were too anxious to get this job. We were too anxious to call somebody that's our homeboy, our homegirl. We were too anxious to have some when it didn't come from God. God says, okay, in this season, to be alone. It's okay. Because at the end of the day, you're still not alone because you still got Jesus. It's okay. You still can talk to somebody every day in his name of Jesus. He's always listening. You can talk to him any time of the day, how many times you want. There's no limit to how many times you can talk to Jesus. There's no limit to how many times you can pray to Jesus. He's still there. He's still going to rock with you when nobody else don't rock with you. He still got your back, will always have your back when nobody else have your back. You can always count, depend, and rely on Jesus. He's there all the way to the very end. So you ain't got to mourn about that situation no more. You can put it to rest right now. You can put it to bed right now. I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but he is saying it's okay. Because he got the right people that's going to enter to your life. But you got to allow Jesus to send the right people. Don't be in no hurry. Don't be in no hurry. Do not invite people into your life if it didn't come from Jesus. That's what we go wrong in. We start inviting people into our life, into our space, and it never came, and it never came from Jesus. And then again, you're back in the same situation again. But if you would have waited on the Lord and wait patiently, he's going to send the right people. And I believe and I declare right now today, my brothers and sisters, the Lord is sending the right people your way. He already had them lined up. They've already been ordained to find you. They're going to know everything about you. So don't be surprised when somebody pulls up. They're going to say, I know you, and I know of you, and I've heard of you. Don't be surprised. Don't be so shocked. Because God has already spoke to that person to be part of you and to rock with you. You ain't got to look for no man. You ain't got to look for no woman. God going to see the right man. God going to see the right woman. You ain't got to look for no friend. God going to see the right friend. You going to see the right job. It's okay. You got to remove this stuff out of your life for a reason. But you ain't got to be in your feelings about it. Don't never question God when he removed people out of your life. Don't never question God when some people remove themselves out of your life. Don't question him. Because God wants to send the right people into your life. Who got you? Who's going to help you? 
or you find what I'm saying right now today. Amen. Amen. So let's turn our back to 1 Samuel 16. And we're going to read verse 1. That's 1 Samuel chapter 16. And we're going to read verse 1. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Glory be to God. The Lord said to Samuel, How long will you mourn? For Saul, since I have rejected him as king over Israel. Fill your horn with oil and be on your way. I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem. I have chosen, you know that word? I have chosen. That means God has chosen the right man for you, my sister. That means God has chosen the right woman for you, my brothers. That God has chosen the right people to enter into your life. He said, go on. He said, fill your horn up with oil. Fill it up right now today, my sisters. Fill it up right now today, my brothers. He said, I have chosen. Oh, heavenly thing, Jesus. He said, I have chosen the right people to enter into your life. People I already spoke to, people I have already ordained, to enter into your life. Mm. I have chosen one of his sons to be king. God has already chosen the right people, my sisters. God has already chosen the right people, my brother. And the point I'm making, it's okay. The right people is about to show up and it's about to show out in your life. The right people is about to arrive in your life. The right people. Not the wrong people, but the right people. It's okay to rock along in this season. It's okay. It's okay not to have a boyfriend right now. Wait, hold yourself. It's okay not to have a girlfriend right now. Wait, hold yourself. It's okay not to have friends right now. Jesus is your only love. Your first love will always be your only love. It's okay that you had a you had to walk away. Out of, what, you had to walk away from your mother and your father. You had to separate yourself. It's okay. And I know that's a hard pill to do. But it's okay. But you can remember, God is a jealous God. No one or nobody should ever come before him. It doesn't matter if it's your mom. It doesn't matter if it's your dad, your grandparents, your son, your daughter, your cats, your dog, your homeboys, your homegirls, your job. Nobody or no one should ever come before Jesus. Because he's a jealous God. It's okay, my sisters. It's okay, my brothers. Whatever it is that gets you upset, whatever it is that still got you mourning, he says, it's okay. You can put it to bed now. You can put it to rest now. Don't ever question God, my sisters and brothers. When they remove themselves out of their life or when God removed them out of your life, God has already chosen. He said it right here in this word. He already chosen the right people to be in your life. And I don't know who God is talking to today. I don't know who this word is for today. But you know God is talking to you today. Say, Lord, I'm going to wait on you. I'm not making no move. I'm not making no decisions until you say so, until you speak, until you reveal it to me, until you give me the green light. It's okay if I got to rock by myself. It's okay if I got to sleep by myself. It's okay if I got to eat by myself. It's okay if I got to travel by myself. It's okay. Because I know, according to your word, your word said that you already chosen. Oh, him with this thing, Jesus. You already chosen the right person. And I'm going to wait for the, I'm going to wait until the right person come to me. Because your word said that you already chosen the right person for me. And I believe you, Lord, and I trust you, Lord. And if this word, and if this message moved you today, go and hit Jesus' like button. Go and hit the subscribe button too as well. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask for you to come into our life, to guide us, direct us, use us. And I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus, the mighty name of Jesus, that God is already working everything out in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact, you'll leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is Witness.LG. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus because he is the author and perfect of your faith. Continue to trust him even though you don't see things happening. Continue to hold on to his unchanged by hands and please do not let it go. Continue to pick up your crosses and follow Jesus. Choose faith over fear. 
Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know them. It doesn't matter if you ever seen their face. Prayer help and prayer changes things. I'm always going to continue to keep y'all in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up too. I'm serving in this day too. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' glory, holy mighty name. I love every last one of y'all.